Hey everyone, I'm Ed Johnson. Welcome to another HTML and Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to generate a favicon. For those of you who don't know, a favicon is a small icon that appears on your web browser, usually next to the address bar. It's really simple to implement and generate, and today I'm going to be teaching you all that you need to know to implement it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to open up your graphic editor. In this case, I'm going to be using Photoshop CS3. And now that we've opened it up, we want to create a new image. And we want it to be a square image, so obviously the width and the height need to be the same. For this, I'm going to choose 150 by 150 pixels. Make sure your settings are roughly the same as this. This will work well. Uh, and once you're happy, press OK. Now it's, a, uh, it's generated our new image size. So we're going to add a plain white background to this now. Um, a plain white background will help, it's better than having transparent. Uh, so we're going to go and we're going to head over and we're going to select white, which is FFF, FFF on the HTML codes. We're going to put that in and it's now uh, made the background white. So we are now going to go to our brush tool and we're going to create a uh, circular brush. Um, obviously this is your design, so this is just an example design of a favicon. You can make yours whatever you want, whatever graphic you want to appear in this. Um, I'm just going to create a quick circular favicon just for a demonstration. So once you're happy with the size, we're going to go and we're going to change the uh, colour to whatever colour. We're going to go for black because we're going to change this now. We're going to add a new layer and we're going to put the uh, circular image in the new layer. We're going to press Control A. The marching ants will appear and we're going to uh, vertically and horizontally align this in the centre. We're going to deselect it now and we're going to go onto the uh, the uh, layer, layer 2, and we're going to add a gradient overlay to our circle. We're going to change this gradient overlay to perhaps a, yeah, we're going to go for that. Uh, we're going to change the angle to minus, so the lighter colour is at the top and the darker colour is at the bottom. We can perhaps add a drop shadow at this point, change the opacity or opacity up to 100, whatever. Just play around with the style until you're happy with the way your, uh, your favicon graphics, graphics look. Um, we're going to change the emboss perhaps, play around with a few of these pillow emboss, see how they all look. Uh, until you get the one that you like, and obviously you can change all the settings in this. But once you're happy, we can, we're, we're going to go and we're going to head over to press OK. So now here is our simple uh, yet effective favicon graphics. We're going to save this, uh, we're going to save it to the desktop and we're going to save it as favicon. You can save this as whatever file name you want, uh, .png we're going to go for, portable graphics, portable network graphics uh, and we're going to save this as file name favicon we've selected. Interlace we don't want any so we select OK on the none option. We're going to minimise Photoshop now and there you go, we've got our graphics appearing. Now you want to go and you want to go and open up your internet browser, the internet browser of your choice. And uh, a favicon is the little icon that appears next to each of the objects. So you see Twitter has a small blue T next to it. Facebook obviously has an F with a, uh, a blue background, etc. And now in Google we want to type in favicon generator um, and press Google search. It should be the first option that comes up, tools.dynamicdrive.com forward slash favicon. And we're going to go into this website and you should see this page appear, image to create uh, icon from. We're going to select the image graphics that we've just created, so favicon.png. Going to go and we're going to press OK and then we're going to go and press on create icon. It'll give you a preview of what the icon will probably look like and then you want to press download favicon, you want to press the blue button. This will open up a new option, we're going to press save file and we're going to save it in the same place on the desktop, save file type as icon. Press save, it should download and then uh, you can delete it from the downloaded items if you're using Firefox or however you're downloading it and then we can close the internet browser now. So now we've got our favicon, obviously it looks a bit pixelated because it's bigger than the actual size of the image. So we're going to create the HTML document to implement this into, so HTML head and now we want to add the favicon code. Um, now to do this, actually um, you can easily, this is, there's an easier way to do this. I'm going to go back onto our internet browser and we're once again going to type in favicon generator um, and it will give you the code uh, for it. Press Google search, it's exactly the same website and down at the bottom you should see the code to implement it. So you can copy this code, press Control C or right click copy and then right click paste or Control V um, under in the head section. Link rel. Now obviously under href 
we could change this to whatever file name it is. So 879, for example, I don't know, I'm just thinking of one off the top of my head, but make sure you change the icon then to 879. So there we go, they're matching, they're exactly the same code. So we can continue with our HTML document, we can close the uh, head at this point. Oh, get this screen cam in the right place. We can close the head and add a BG color, so background color of CCC, CCC, which is a light gray. We can perhaps centrally align some text saying, welcome to my website. We can add a paragraph break to this, so PEP, and then like the favicon question mark. And there we go, that's our HTML code. So once you're happy with your HTML code, go to file, save as, we're gonna save this to the desktop as, uh, we're gonna save this as index.html. You can save it as whatever you want, as long as it's got .html on the end. So now that we've saved it, we've got our, uh, our new file, our index.html. We can open this up with the internet browser of our choice. I'm gonna open up with Firefox. And there you go, the favicon has appeared. So if we were to save this into our favorites, drag it across to the uh, favorites bar, and uh, let it go. We've now got the favicon, it's now appearing, and that's how to make a favicon. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it or you found it useful, please rate five stars, and don't forget to subscribe for more video tutorials coming up soon. Bye for now.